Hi all. In this lecture, we will be manipulating strings with Spark data frames. Let's talk about the objectives. We will understand the basic string functions. We will understand how to concat two string values using concat ws function. We will understand how to convert a string value into uppercase or lowercase. We will understand how to replace all substrings of a specified pattern with a new value. We will understand how to use split function to split a string value in an array. And we will understand how to substring a string value. So let's start. So let's read customer's data. Well, customer is equal to spark dot read dot json and let's provide the path so this is my path so this is my customer data frame okay let's see some some of the data customer dot show and just give me five records great so let's see we have customer underscore f name and customer underscore l name. So let's see how can we use concat underscore ws function to concat multiple strings into one. Let's see. So we can say so in my customer data frame, I'll say dot select and inside dot select, we can say concat ws first of all providing the separator or delimiter in our case it is space and then my columns so my first column is customer underscore f name and the second column is customer underscore l name and let's do a show on top of that just give me five records so we can see that we are able to concat two string columns into just one using concat ws function. Now, the column name doesn't look nice. So what we can do is we can also provide an alias. For example, I can say that my column name should be customer underscore name. And this time, see the difference. So, now this looks good. Our, our column name is customer underscore name. So this is how we can use concat ws function. Now let's see how can we convert a string value into uppercase and lowercase. So we can use the two functions upper and lower. Let's see that. Customer data frame dot select. Now let's convert the value into lowercase. So I can use a lower function providing the column name. So my column name is let's say customer underscore f name and then I'll be providing alias and let's say first name finally I'll be saying dot show and just give me five records so this is how we can convert the data into lowercase let's see how can we convert the value string value into uppercase so in the same expression in the above expression, I'm going to change the function name from lower to upper. And this time, the first name should be converted into all uppercase. We can see that. Okay. So let's understand how to replace all substring of a specified pattern with a new value. So let's say we have, let's see the data first. Customer dot show and give me five records. Okay, so let's convert this data. We have the zip code wherein we have a pattern 78521. So let's replace this 785 with some other value. For example, so I'm going to say customer.select and inside select I can call a function rejects p underscore replace. And what I have to provide is I have to provide customer zip code customer zip code and the second value is the pattern I want to replace so I want to replace 785 with a new value which is let's say 
999 okay and let's give a meaningful name to the column so let's say zip code and let's do a show on top of this so just give me five records so guys we can see that this 785 pattern is replaced by triple nine so this is how we can replace all substring of a specified pattern with a new value using regex p underscore replace func replace function so let's see how to split a column value into an array for example let's say we have street data customer street let's look into the data customer df dot select and just show me the data for the column customer underscore street and just give me five records so this is how the data looks like contain containing multiple words 6303 space header space plaza so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna split the data into an array and then i'll be fetching the first word from that array okay so let's do that so i'll be saying customer df dot select inside select i'll be using a split function and in split function i'll be providing the column name so my column name is customer underscore street okay after that i'll have to provide space because the data is separated by space now this will return an array but i'm only interested in the first word that is in our first row 6303 so i'm going to say get item get item 0 and finally i'll be giving a meaningful name to this column so i'm going to say street name just street name and then doing a show on top of it just give me five records okay so guys we are able to split the data every row into an array and then we are able to fetch the first element of the array so this is how we can use split function to split a string value in a data frame let's see how to substring a data so we have customer data let's see the first name so i'm going to say customer underscore f name dot show and just give me five records okay so what we are going to do now is i'm only interested in the first four characters of the first name for that i can use substring function so what i'll say is i'll say customer df dot select and then using a substring function here substring function the first thing i'll providing is the column name itself customer f name and then after that i'll be providing that i want to i want data from position 0 to position 4 so it will return position 0 1 2 3 that is four characters and then i'm going to provide a logical name here a meaningful name so i'm going to say simply name and dot show just show me five records so guys we can say that now we are able to substring the data and it is only returning the first four character of the customer first name so in this lecture we have learned how to use concat ws function to to concat multiple input columns together into a single string column using a given separator we have learned how to use the function upper and lower to convert a value into upper case or lower case we have understood how to replace all substring of a specified pattern with a new value using regex p underscore replace function we have understood how to split the string value into an array and we have also learned about the substring function thank you